Live from ABC 7, this is Eyewitness News. New at 11 business owners are speaking out as activists get ready to launch an effort to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour in Los Angeles. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter is live in downtown LA with what they say they'll have to do. Leanne? Michelle, those organizing that ballot measure say in Los Angeles, nearly 50% of the workforce make minimum wage, most of them living in poverty. They say that is why that dramatic jump in minimum wage is so desperately needed. Preparations are underway as activists gear up for this weekend's launch of their ballot measure for $15 an hour for all minimum wage workers across the city of Los Angeles. The move comes just as the state's minimum wage went up to $9. $10 a year from now, two years from now, $13. It's not enough. Something has to be done right now to really end this poverty. The ballot initiative would set a national precedent if approved since it would take effect immediately. Seattle recently approved a gradual increase to $15 an hour, and voters in San Francisco are set to decide whether to follow suit this fall. At Colombo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club in Eagle Rock, the current minimum wage increase is already having an impact as the restaurant is considering raising prices 10%. If it goes up to $15 an hour, that price hike could jump to 25%. Then I have to start looking at cutting people's hours or eliminating positions or something like that. So I think the $15 an hour situation could be catastrophic. It's going to have a negative impact, and the businesses that are just teetering on the edge are going to leave. Opponents say the proposed increase would have a domino effect and impact everyone in the city. While many workers support the measure, some wonder if it won't help at all, as the increase will ultimately be passed on to the consumer. I think it's a good idea. Um, I'm just a little worried that as minimum wage goes up, everything else will. Now, if the campaign gets the signatures needed, organizers say they hope to have it on the city ballot or on the city measure, I should say, by April or March. Live in downtown Los Angeles, Leon Suter, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Leanne, thank you.